Beautiful Sagittarius, this is Tammy with Spot on Psychic Readings, and I brought you to the great outdoors today to do your reading, and hope you enjoy it. Uh, my Border Collies are out here. You'll probably see them run by. Tweety is over here. She's my oldest Border Collie, and I always tell people, if you need to know anything, ask Tweety. She knows everything. <laughs> She's like so super smart. So Sagittarius, let's see what's coming. Sagittarius, this is your midweek reading. Thank you all so much for joining me on the live. It was so great to connect with everybody. And I uh, really appreciate all the super chat thanks and um, the cash app donations and everything. You guys really are so great to support my channel. And I appreciate you very, very much. Ooh, Sagittarius. <laughs> Look at this. First card up couple of things come through with this. Um, the owl, for one thing, which is having to do with your psychic um, abilities, you know, your intuition. And new beginnings, big time. Wow, ace of wands. You've got some kind of fiery, exciting, passionate new beginnings coming up this week. Wow. Some of you might be traveling. Um, chariot card, also a success card, right next to that ace of wands. Amazing, amazing energy. Eight page of cups you might be meeting somebody new Sag I've been saying this for a while you're waiting on some things to come together you're holding on to your money you're saving money I feel it really strongly saving growing money Let's see what else Sag if I didn't say this already this is your midweek reading okay so it's for this week anything else what you don't see coming page of Pentacles there's a lot here about money Sorry about the road noise, but I thought it was worth it to sit out here. <laughs> it's just so nice out here. Okay, so like I said, you've got new beginnings. You might be going on a trip, and there's a lot of success here. A lot of success from you keeping things on track. We have got potentially a new friend. Potentially a new friend that turns into a new romantic partner, Sag. So there's something really good here about, um, yeah, this page of cups. I feel like this is somebody very heart-centered, maybe younger. This is somebody who's um, like uh, gonna be fun and not frivolous. I wanna, well, for some of you frivolous, cause I did wanna say that, but for a lot of you, just somebody fun and um, has a childlike spirit still about them, very in touch with their inner child, but not in an immature way, in a fun way, you know? And you need that, Sag. Cause sometimes Sagittarius, uh, myself included, <laughs> I'm guilty of this, is uh, you get too serious. You know, you are very smart. You are, you do think about things. You do get a lot of psychic impressions. And sometimes it's, it's like you take things too seriously. So somebody really fun and light, um, be perfect around um, a lot of you. See, she agrees. <laughs> She's like, yeah, play more, roll in the grass. <laughs> Little message from Tweety. I told you she knows everything. Okay, so Sag, we have got the world reversed. I feel like you're waiting for some things to resolve. There's something here um, where you just, yeah, you just need things to resolve. There's something, there's some loose ends. I feel like either with job or money or people, there's just some things that you still haven't come to a complete resolution with. Okay, it could be a past person, could be a younger person, could be children for some of you, adult children, that kind of thing. Depends. I'm going to clarify and see, okay? Um, here we've got, you're holding on to your money. You are saving your money. Sag, I feel like um, a lot of you really sitting on your money. They're holding tight to it. You're investing it. It feels really good. You know, sometimes that's a card. Sometimes that's the card of um, money being tight. But I don't feel that for most of you here. I feel it's tight because you're holding on to it. You know, like you're penny pinching at this time. Now, there's a little something here about two of cups reversed, like a relationship fell apart. I feel like that's some, some part of this world card that didn't get resolved yet. I feel like there's still some um, thoughts coming from this other per old person, you know, your previous or old person. <laughs> I did say old. Words pop out of my mouth sometimes and um, it's for a reason. So for some of you, it was an older person and now a younger person's coming in, all right, with this page of cups. And I feel like for some of you, the age difference may have been causing a problem. And yeah, definitely, definitely for some of you age, 
so for some of you, the relationship fell apart because the person was going through some sort of a midlife crisis and they went for a younger person. There was something going on there. That's a whole other reading. I'm just skimming over the surface today, but I'm sure we'll get into it more coming up. But that person's thinking about you. So we've got Page of Wands coming up and Page of Wands is having to do with messages, maybe fiery um, messages saying, hey, do you want to get together? You know, that sort of thing. Maybe news coming in right next to this Page of Pentacles. Now the owls keep coming up for you. Here's two owl cards. You think you're a little bit intuitive, Sage? <laughs> this is all about messages from your guides. Owls represent guides. Owls can represent transition of all sorts and wisdom. A lot of wisdom and using your third eye. Sagittarius, for real. And this is about new beginnings and news, good news about money coming in. And also learning. This is the card of learning new things. So you might be reading a book about a new subject. You might be taking a class. You might have gone back to school. Things like that. You might be a teacher. Sometimes teachers learn the most. You know, it's an interesting thing like that. Your final outcome, and I will clarify this, uh, your final outcome is all about the moon. And the moon has multiple meanings. You know, it's a major arcana card. So this is all about... Um, enchantment you know sometimes maybe you see things as better than it is or sometimes you're dealing with deception you know illusions and things like that the moon can also represent some Pisces energy which is um, a really nice thing so we'll clarify and see so what does Sagittarius need to know about any of this just tell us messages for Sag Messages for Sagittarius. Messages for Sag, we've got the barrel. Um, you feel something is lacking with your life. Um, friendships, love, money, or goals, perhaps. Okay, uh, right beside that, you are getting help, assistance, and guidance with the hand card, okay? So yeah, some of you might feel like things are lacking and that's exactly what's getting ready to fill in. And also it may be lacking because you're still, you still got the previous relationship that fell apart on your mind and the loss of that. Um, it could have happened yesterday. It could have happened 10 or 20 years ago even. Sometimes those things don't get resolved through no fault of your own but because the other person, the old person, <laughs> older person that I, um, picked up on a minute ago is not letting go of it they may have moved on married somebody else and yet you're still alive and well in their mind they can't let go of you because they can't let go of you there you know there it is here's older woman there's something about age in this reading Sag here it is they're saying it they're writing it out um, dealings with or relationship with an older woman for some of you hmm. um, here's secret admirer <laughs> Some of you have a secret admirer and you don't even know. Let's ask more about that. Who's your se who's Sag's secret admirer? Who's your secret admirer, Sag? And then we'll continue with the clarification, okay? Two cards. Somebody younger. Oh, somebody. Okay. There's a secret admirer that's going to come rushing in. You could connect with this person on a trip, um, on a plane flight tell you some of you are meeting somebody new that you could form a relationship with oh yeah definitely look at this lover's card boy are they talking to you today Sag yeah you may be an older quote older woman here's judgment yeah there's some kind of major life change coming up Sag in the uh, about the secret admirer <laughs> yeah Keep a look out for that. Okay, what else does Sag need to know? Let's go back to just general clarification on anything you need to know. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. And if you didn't already, please hit the like button. It helps my channel a lot. Thank you. <laughs> anything else for Sag? Yes, this. Get this rainbow card. Um, the most difficult part of a situation is over. And here's the rainbow promise of good things to come the promise of peace oh, okay thank you Let's see what else anything else this one okay 
Last two cards here, Sag, for today is um, spiritual development, enlightenment, uh, awareness, and understanding. Look at this torch. Very fiery card for Sagittarius. And we've got the archway. Um, new opportunity, Sag. Possibilities and the path opening up. Look what a beautiful card that is. Yeah, the path opening up. So, things are... You are on a new path, Sag, really. That's what I get from this reading. Secret admirer, helping hand, um, something about maybe a Pisces news, this whole new beginning, which is really exciting. This is the main thing you need to remember from this reading. All these others are details around that whole new path and the whole new beginning. Okay, thank you guys for coming in, and um, I look forward to seeing you. I'm still going to be doing the next six months for all the signs soon so uh, look for those this upcoming weekend okay have a great day okay and I know you will bye now